Hi, I'm Jane Stafford from the School of Weaving, and I'm so happy to be here to tell you all about Season 8, Episode 1, our first episode of the season, which uh, continues on looking at the wonders of M's and O's. I love M's and O's so much, uh, and this will be our third episode. Last episode, we morphed it a little bit and used Huck to influence the way that we threaded the M's and O's draft. We made it symmetrical. We overlaid color and weave ideas on top of it, but we only overlaid one. So here we come back again, overlaying log cabin thread by thread on top of the M's and O's structure. And we have an opportunity to have a peek at it using our lace weaves. Um, it is drafted like Huck now in some places, but we're going to learn how to use Bronson Spot and Bronson Lace to treadle it and create something very, very exciting. And of course, I'll want to do more with it. Anyway, Everything from that episode is sitting here on that table. Um, let's go over here. These are pieces from Brenda Reimer. Brenda Reimer is on our dream team from Manitoba. And I gave her a job to do, which was to take her M's and O's from the previous show and tell take that graphic identically, morph it overlaying the color weave on top, and my gosh, she has done an amazing job. Look at these beautiful pieces. So there is so much inspiration coming your way, I can't tell you. Oh, and here's a beautiful piece from David. David Schultz in, from Australia has sent us this gorgeous piece where he's introduced so much more color. Then we have Arlene Kohut from uh, Victoria, and she's done something very interesting that has spurred me to want to take this further. I'll explain it in the episode. Absolutely beautiful. That Brenda Reimer, no stopping her. She, she was supposed to weave me one set of towels. Well, she wove me another one and um, Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful, so elegant. She's played with her graphic. She's played with her division of space and considered each one carefully. Positive, negative, what she did on this one, she reversed the colors and did on this one. And we're coming up to my very, very favorite one, which I've already purchased from her. Look at that. Look at this. I just have to bring it up. She brought in other colors. So after I see all the work that, that the dream team has done on this, and it's the beautiful thing about working with the dream team, is I get to see through my students' eyes what they take away from these lessons. And when they take away from the lesson and try to reinterpret and overlay their own aesthetics, we get absolute, absolute magic. Anyway, this down here is the project. It's totally boring compared to what my dream team did. They're so much better than I am. And then up here we have Sharon Blodorn, who is our new dyer and who has been lured into the deep end of the swimming pool after just one year of working with us. She saw the center of this, so I'm gonna point down here. She saw the center of that, really, really loved it, sucked that off the fabric and brought it here and made her gorgeous, gorgeous cushions. <laughs> Look at that. And here she did it with the other threading, or the other treadling, the lace treadling. Oh, wait more. There's more. There's another cushion. We got so many cushions. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So you take an idea and you push it further, and that idea pushes you further and further. <laughs> anyway, I hope you'll want to come and see and learn about this. Bye. <laughs>